Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel to the end of October. I honestly had to think about that for a second. I was like, is it June? No, okay. I've had such a mix of stuff I've been loving this month. I have so much stuff. I literally have a whole table of stuff next to me. So I'm gonna split everything up into categories to make it easier. I feel like I say this a lot of the months, but I have like so much stuff to get through. So let's get to it. <laughs> I'm gonna start with makeup because that is the reason that I started my YouTube channel. Okay, anyway, you guys know I love the L'Oreal True Match and this month they released True Match Genius. It's uh, apparently, are you ready for this? It's apparently a primer, foundation, concealer and powder four in one. It's basically this cream compact here and you do have a mirror on the other side as well. I was really skeptical about this, but to be honest, I've never really tried a cream foundation. I probably tried one or two once, decided I didn't like them and then that was the end of them. But I've been applying this with a brush. It's a great, easy, quick, slap it all on kind of base. I've been applying it with a buffing brush, kind of like dabbing my buffing brush into the cream product and then like buffing that into my skin. It gives a really nice light to medium coverage. It's really long lasting on the skin. The one thing I will say is that if you have dry patches or dry skin, this isn't for you because it does tend to like cling onto any little dry patches that I have. And it also has SPF 30, which is really good, which is why I kind of like it. it's a great multitasking, lazy morning kind of product. And then the next one that I didn't think I would love this is kind of like that was like a light to medium easy base and then this is now like a really hard to apply kind of like techie kind of base <laughs> I don't know why I said techie but basically this is the Bobbi Brown foundation stick when I went to Mario Deddy Vinovic's masterclass he actually used this and PS I do have a post all about that masterclass if you want to read it I'll link it below but he basically takes the uh what it's called oh yeah foundation stick sweeps on the back of his hand or like scoops a bit out, dabs a beauty blender sponge in it and dabs it on my face. Now I was wearing this foundation in my most recent haul video and so many of you guys said my skin looked amazing and I really think this foundation is worth the extra effort it takes to blend it in because it is quite a thick creamy consistency. It just looks so flawless on the skin and it's super long lasting. I definitely say if you're a bride or you have a wedding or like a very high photography kind of event coming up, check this one out. This month I tried a couple of Avon products. I'd never really tried much of their stuff before. I liked their Super Shock gel liner like back in the day because I remember Pixie Woos used to speak about it. But these were their eyeshadow palettes. I tried two of them and I love Love them guys they're so so good both of these are kind of like one is like a really warmy sunsetty kind of brown and one is like a more cool toned brown they both have four shades in them and their eyeshadows are so good they're so buttery and creamy they're super affordable as well and there isn't like a dud shade in either of the palette except you know what is a dud is these sponges though okay like does anyone actually actually you know what my mum actually uses these so maybe I'll save this for my mum. You guys will see in the makeup bit of this haul, everything's either like super luxury or super affordable. I don't know how that happened. I've like really done a lot of dabbling this month. But another product I tried because of Mario Dodanovic's masterclass was the Tom Ford Translucent Finishing Powder. He used the shade number three, Sahara Dusk, and it's such a nice shade for me. It's like, such a great color. I'm just obsessed with this color because it's not orange. It's not too cool toned like the Kevin O'Quan sculpting powder or whatever. It's like the perfect mix in the middle and it is so nice to blend. It's really easy. It's such a great one if you want something buildable. It's not super pigmented. Can we just take a moment for this? Ah. Wait, you couldn't really tell that was magnetic, but it is. Magnetic. I wanted to show you guys another palette. I know I'm such a palette hoarder. I'm sorry I'm showing you three palettes in one video, but I'm actually not that sorry because this is so nice. It's from BH Cosmetics I've tried one of their eyeshadow palettes before. It is awesome. I'm waving this brush at you It is the brush that comes in the palette and it's actually good. <laughs> it's actually a good brush Surprise surprise it has like a pointy end and a fluffy end But these are the eyeshadows you get in the palette. You only get like one and a half I would say matte shades. I would say half because this shade here is kind of like not a shimmer and not a matte. It kind of has a slight sheen, but it can kind of get away with being a matte. Basically, you get so many great shimmery shades in here. I love these peachy golden colors. The eyeshadows are so, so blendable and they're really affordable as well. I just think if you're into like really goldeny, warm toned eyeshadows, 
because this palette would be one to check out and most of them are quite neutral as well. You are probably wondering what is on my lips because it's the most un me color of all time, but I love this shade. It would never have been something that I picked up, but my friend Kathleen, who has a YouTube channel, Kathleen Lights, sent me her new collaboration and this is the Liquid Lipstick by Ofra in Miami Fever. First of all, I love the name. She chose such a good name, but I just love this color. Like, it's such an on me color, but I feel like this would suit so many skin tones. Sorry, my hair is really bugging me today and I keep fiddling with it. So if that's annoying you as much as it's annoying me, then I'm sorry about that. I honestly, this is a liquid lipstick that I just forget I'm wearing because it's just so nice. And P.S. I have this huge spot like right here and I've kind of overlined my lips. So it's kind of covering the spot. So basically, Liquid lipstick is a great concealer, was the moral of the story. Anyway, this is such a long lasting con I almost said concealer. <laughs> I literally just described this as a concealer. I'm going crazy. This is such a long lasting liquid lipstick. It almost feels like it's not there at all. Like last night, I think it was last night or the night before, I had a stir fry and they're quite greasy and really oily and quite like slurpy with the noodles and stuff. And I looked in the mirror afterwards expecting to have like an awkward orange line and my lipstick was perfect. And I was like, wow, this lipstick though, it is so good it's really comfortable it's basically everything i want a liquid lipstick to be really comfortable really long lasting and an awesome color so well done kathleen the next lipstick i want to tell you guys about is one of my favorites it's by l'oreal paris and it is the eva's delicate rose i think they bought these out in a collection of like five or six pinky colors this month but this one was my favorite because it's kind of a bit in the middle of like warm and cool toned it's kind of more neutral than anything else and it's like a really nice dusky rose it's quite matte as well but it's not like uber matte honestly there's only been one skincare item that i have just re actually i spoke about this like a year and a half ago on my blog but i just this month really fermented the love into the concrete you know it's the clarence hydro crunch cream mask it ha kind of has this like funny white color but then it just applies like a cream and it looks translucent or whatever on the skin and it's for dehydrated skin and my skin is seriously dehydrated but i feel like the morning after i put this on like i sleep with this on my skin and the morning after my skin is just like i'm ready for whatever dehydrating crap you're gonna put on my skin this is just oh it's it's so, so, so good. My skin just wakes up looking really plump and basically makeup just loves being on my skin the next day after using this. As you can see, I've literally squeezed out every last drop. I am planning on cutting this open after this video is done. Next is a very Amelia thing to talk about. As you know, I love talking about all things TMI beauty related. I have done quite a few TMI videos and things, which I'll link below. But basically, we're gonna talk about lightening, why am I slapping these? Lightening the hair, and not this kind of hair. I'm talking about, you know, this kind of hair, ladies. The kind of excess fluff that you don't wanna wax, maybe, you don't wanna shave, you just wanna kind of lighten. For me especially, I have quite dark hair, as you can see, so those kind of hairs are really prominent. And I don't want them to be because they're so dang annoying. <laughs> basically, in a previous video, I mentioned that I like Jolin, I think it's called. But basically, first of all, it makes my skin really red afterwards. It makes it really irritated, which I don't mind because it only lasts like an hour or two. But also, I find that it makes my hair, when it's dying, it makes my hair look super blonde. So that if it's in the sunlight, at least... I wouldn't mind because it's not black anymore, but they are super blonde and it does make them quite prominent. Whereas this stuff almost makes them kind of disappear. This is the Boots Hair Lightener. It's the Boots own brand. And you still get a step one and a step two and you kind of squeeze them out in equal parts, mix it together and put it on your hair for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. It's so good. It doesn't irritate my skin. I wash it off. My skin looks totally normal, except my hairs just kind of look almost translucent, if that is even a thing, rather than the Joylin making them look super blonde this just makes them look like they're not even there so if you're a hairy gorilla like me check these out speaking of hair but now I'm talking about actual hair this is something I saw my friend Estee use quite a bit and I never really tried it out but now finally I have it's the volume lift root lift spray mousse did they just write lift twice anyway it has this little like fine nib and I normally find with volume mousses it has quite a large 
squirter, if that makes sense. So quite a lot comes out and you end up with like quite a lot in one area and then it makes your hair look crunchy and then you have to brush it out and it's just like a complete faff. So this little nib is quite a life changing little thing. So you basically section off your hair and throughout the sections I'll kind of like spray this in a line, rub it in with my hands and continue to blow dry my hair afterwards. And it just does what it says on the bottle. It like adds a lot of lift to the roots. As you can see, I've used it now. This is second or maybe even third day hair now. But you know, it does give a lot of lift. You gotta, I gotta give it to them. Now, this is something that made me smell so good that I had to buy another one and I never buy two body creams in a row because I find body moisturizing the most dullest task. It's up there with washing your brushes in terms of dull beauty tasks. But everyone kept complimenting me on this and telling me how good I smelled. So I kind of had to buy another one from La Vanilla. It's the healthy body butter, but it's in the scent pure vanilla. Oh. Just smells so good. Even my sister who doesn't like vanilla was like, wow, what's that amazing scent in your room? And I was like, my candle? She was like, no, no, it's not that. I was like, my hairspray. She was like, no, it's not that. I was like, my arms. And she was like sniffing my arms like, oh my God, they smell so nice. And then she stole this. So Hannah, if you're watching this, guess what I stole back? I can't pull that snap thing off. I can't pull it off. This is really super hydrating cream. It is quite thick. You do need to work it into the skin, but it doesn't leave a greasy film or a kind of clingy layer. It doesn't like hang around basically. The only thing that hangs around is the awesome scent. Like even the next day, I can still smell how awesome this is on my skin. Recently realized how much damage I do to my poor hair, like the blow drying and the straightening and the curling and the recurling and the re-straightening. So I'm really trying to up my game in terms of like hair masks. So I've been trying this one out. It's the Kerastase Mask Therapist. Sounds like a therapist. I'm sure that's a French name. And I put this in my wet hair. I kind of put it I keep it on like the mid legs to ends of my hair and I leave it in I'll either leave it in overnight or for like 20 minutes or something and it does make my hair like really swishy and light again it really feels like it's given I want to say fibers but I know that's the wrong word I it just feels like it's given my hair like bounce and makes it a lot less straw like that's what I'm going for <laughs> You all know I love my friend Claire from the YouTube channel, hey Claire, and I stalk her even though she is my friend. Are we allowed to stalk friends? I don't know. But basically every time she wore this, I was just obsessed with it and I needed it and finally it happened. Let me just detangle it here. What have I done? Help. What have I done? I swear I untangling. Necklaces, headphones. Oh, I it. Oh, I untangled it. Yes. Does this look like a bull to anyone or is that just me? Like these are the horns of the bull and then this bit is the face and this is like the nose of the bull. That just me. Anyway, I saw this on her and every time I saw it on her, I would just be mesmerized by it. I love it so much. It just is such an awesome statement necklace and statement necklaces are great because let me just tell you a story. Basically, <laughs> this month I've been really lazy and I've pretty much been wearing the same thing like the majority of the month. And the other day I actually wore the same jumper three days in a row. <laughs> Even my boyfriend was like, wow, you really like that jumper, don't you? And I was like, uh, so now I feel like when I'm wearing the same jumper three days in a row, the third day, because I feel like I can kind of get away with it one or two days, the third day I'll just put on a statement necklace and there you go. There was only one fashion fave I wanted to show you this month and that was this jaded London dress with the slit. Apple bottom jeans, dress with the slit. No, that's not how it goes. I can't even tell you how much I love this dress. It's so gorgeous. The print, the style, the way you can really dress it up like with heels or you can really dress it down with trainers and a leather jacket. Ah, uh, and the slit. Can we just take a moment for that leg slit though? As, oh, I just dropped everything. As Christmas party season is coming up, I wanted to show you guys my favorite shoesies of the moment. These are from Shoots. Shoots. Shuts. Shuts? They're little strappy black suede sandals and they're so gorgeous. I just think they're so simple that you can just wear them with everything. They have a little strap here, a little strap here. I did have the Stuart Wiseman ones, which I think are like triple the price, maybe even double the price of these. And they were so uncomfortable, so I had to sell them. But these ones are so comfortable and actually relatively stable. You know, it looks like your foot is like half naked and you're basically relying your whole life on this little tiny strap here. It's actually stable, okay, people? Like, if I can walk, 
you can walk. Actually saying that, I probably can't even walk in these and no one's telling me. I wanted to show you a couple of homeware things. Can we just take a moment for these Oliver Bonas bowls? They're so cute. This one I bought quite a while ago and I put it in a haul. Wow, I still have the label on it. That's smooth, isn't it? <laughs> six months later and I'm finally taking off the label. I am that person. But I bought this, yeah, six months ago and it's so gorgeous. I've been keeping it by my door and like chucking my keys in there, which means I don't end up running around my house looking for the keys because I always do that. And then this one, my friends Johnny and Claire bought me and I've been keeping fruit and stuff in it. <laughs> also has the label on it. Let's just take that off here. Oh, you know when you take the label off and the other half like sticks, it's like the bottom half of the label that like sticks on. Urgh, I hate clingy labels. Oh my gosh. The basically the bottom half of the label is like clung on. So I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. But yes, I've been loving this to keep fruit and stuff in in my kitchen and I love the like kind of two-tony feel of it with the wood and stuff. I vlogged quite a bit this month so I'm gonna link my vlogs down below in case you wanna see what I got up to. It was my sister 21st. What I, oh, I just whacked myself in the face with my finger. And then I went to a chocolate show. And if you guys fancy daily updates, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat because that is where I post the most. I was so ready for that rhyme. Like, I know sometimes I'm like, oh, that rhymed, but I knew that was gonna rhyme. I planned it. I think that's gonna be everything. Let me know any video requests you guys have below. I have so many fun things coming up in November and I look forward to spending more time with you. So I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>